everybody. It's Nitro Drunk FX. We're going to check out episode one of Crossing Over Fantasy Flight with your boy, Dual Dreamer. If you guys haven't seen the original, please consider doing so full screen in its entirety without my blabbing and yabbing because I'm going to warn you right now, all I do is talk. Uh, a blind guess, I did not research this. I'm going to have to say Green Lantern right at the spot. Uh, I understand Spawn's a dead person. I'm going to let Dual Dreamer kind of take it from here. And kind of add my comments as I go along. Because I don't want to steal the show. It's all about him. So please guys, do subscribe to him. He is such a great guy. Three, two, one. He also does the uh, Nerd Bender podcast. With uh, Richard Kenobi, if you guys know him. And Okay, I'm going to shut up though. I'm sorry, I digress. Yes, I know this might be an odd pairing. Because Spawn is more of a badass than <laughs> Green Lantern. But if you think about it. This battle might be more of a test of will than test of might. Both characters' powers are based on their willpower and imagination. Both yep. the power ring and oh. the symbiotic suit, Letha of the I mean, come on. House of Kang, he carried Spectre. Weapons it was Green Lantern, by the way. I told you that. The also give the possessors the ability to fly, teleport, give them enhanced strength and mental powers. Now, when it comes Spawn's to pretty defense, badass, though. they have some differences. Green Lantern can gain protection from the ring by conjuring a force field around his body. The force field can also allow Lantern to survive virtually any environment. I believe it's safe to assume if Spawn took him to hell, he would be able to survive. Oh yeah, he's in space, However, so yeah. the power ring does not have the ability to heal injuries. Which means Ooh. if Lantern gets a mortal wound, he's pretty much screwed. As for Spawn's defenses, okay, he can actually enough. use his shape-shifting powers to create shields, armor, stationary barriers... And so what he does die over time. Surroundings. It's also worth noting that the suit also has a mind of its own. In events of being attacked so from behind instinct, or being stunned in battle, the suit will kick into auto mode and nice. pretty much protect Al Simmons. And lastly, That's the legit. suit also gives spawns the ability to heal any injury except decapitation, which will kill him. Now, what makes this fight even more interesting green axe. is that Whack. both Green Lantern and Spawn have limited power usage. Every time they use their respective powers, it drains their energy from the ring and the suit. Both can recharge their energy, but mm. in this type of battle, Spawn I doubt can't. Spawn would allow Green Lantern to recharge his ring with his battery. And seeing that Green Lantern is pure good, there's not going to be a lot of evil energy for Spawn to absorb as well. Now, if I had to vote for a winner, it would probably be Spawn. Maybe Whoa, because his okay. Spawn factor kind of makes him virtually unstoppable. And with seeing Green Lantern using his power from the ring itself, he's going to make every attempt to try to remove that ring. If he does that, he's toast. He's done. Now, I, I will cut his finger off. Green Lantern does have a chance of beating Spawn as well. Lantern can easily just conjure up a giant pair of scissors and Pocket. pretty much cut Spawn's head off. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Pocket How dimension, would Green Lantern know to cut Spawn's head off to stop him? The possible <laughs> answer is you might have gotten that type of information from the Book of Owa. So who do you think That's will win true. two? Feel free to leave your thoughts knowledge. and comments down below, and we'll gladly debate about this. All right, guys. No, that's actually a pretty cool job, man. I, I I thought you did an excellent job, everybody. Y'all have to definitely give it up for him. Uh, I guess to jump back on why I personally think Green Lantern has more of an edge is the fact that he, not Superman, actually carried Spectre. Spectre is said to have infinite weight. And I don't think he really does because if Spectre had infinite weight, he wouldn't even be able to lay on the ground that he was on. He would just implode and go through it. I believe he can set his own weight whenever he walks on uh, a planet that's how he's able to he deliberately lowers his weight to like us or whatever he wants to at the time to be able to do so but the point i'm getting at is specter had some type of weight at the time superman and wonder woman and shazam couldn't carry it it was actually green lantern by himself with his ring creating a pocket dimension to actually carry him now that to me screams a lot to be able to move him so i would say yeah, the knowledge that Green Lantern would have because he's pretty much got a he's pretty much got a cheat sheet of everything he goes up against. But of course, if you run into something blindly, like uh, Duo said, I don't think Spawn would even Spawn. He he goes for the throat right away. He's more action, less talk. Unless of course he wants to rub it in their face while they're being killed, which is obviously pretty notorious for Spawn to do so. Uh, I think he did an excellent job actually on that. It's definitely a a a good um matchup but to you can definitely uh debate this or auto correct me if i'm not mistaken 
Spawn actually, when he uses enough of his powers, he's dead for good. He has a clock, basically. Let's just say, for instance, he's you got five years to, to be alive with these powers, and once it's done, you're done. And the more he uses, the faster it drains. Like, when he starts throwing, doing his magic, then it doubles that time of his life, or lessens his time, I should say, by half or something, until he turns it off. It's like an on and off switch of how he uses his powers, and Maybe the newer spawn, he was able to figure that out and fix it. But from what I remember, my buddy had the original comic. That was what the original spawn had. Is, is he Once he runs out of juice, it's done. Versus, like you said, Green Lantern can charge his shit. I, but yeah, the fact that he can get hit, though, Green Lantern, and be mortally wounded. And spawn does have, basically, an instinctual shields. So that's that's definitely a really good debate there. I don't, now I'm kind of really, I don't know. <laughs> you really got my eyes open on this one, buddy. You know me, I always pick something, I stick to it. But the research you did was solid, like always, man. That's why you are the king of all these predictions and everything that you do. You guys, please give it up for him. Right now, you should start seeing his channel right here. Consider please subscribing to him and checking out the rest of his content. And over here is going to be some playlists. I'll throw some of his other work in here, too. Let me get you guys' feet wet and see if you love it, all right? But if we ain't your cup of tea, go find us out there. This is this for Drunk FX. And I'm out.